Okay, so we're going to create objects without constructing them. Um, so I have the type of an object, which might not have a, uh, a constructor, default constructor or whatever, right? Uh, but I absolutely need an instance of it. Uh, my actual use case, my actual use case, this doesn't work properly. My actual use case is lambdas, right? So lambdas are not default constructible, even when they are um, uh, stateless. And let's say I want to pass the type of lambda around and create uh, and call it. I need to create an instance of, of it. So um, here, lambda, you know, uh, uh, squiggly brackets would, would be an error. So I need a way to create an object, but I don't have a constructor. And this is kind of stupid because even if the lambda is stateless, you know, it's just basically a struct with a call operator under the hood, but can do it. Um, so here's the solution, and uh, just focus on the line 19 here. Um, I'm going to say uh, uh, empty object, no default, get, blah, 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 right? So we're going to take a look at this. Um, so first, we make sure that the type t here, t is the, the thing that we can't default construct, okay? So it's like a lambda or whatever it is. Um, we make sure that it's standard layout, it's empty, and it's trivially destructible. That's necessary for all the nasty tricks we're going to do after it work. Um, then I have T1, T2, both of them have a, have a, uh, have a member, uh, M, it's a char, right? And T2 also inherits from T, which is this you know, empty object that has no default constructor. Um, this results in T1 and T2 being standard layout, obviously they're not unions, and they're classes. This is important for what's, what is coming up. So we have two observations. Uh, first one is that um, um, T1 and T2 have a uh, common, uh, have M, you know, the char M, as a part of their common initial uh, sequence. Because uh, there are st standard layout, uh, there are non-union class types, and um, um, the members, M, they, uh, because of both of them have the same type, both of them are chars, they're obviously layout compatible. Uh, therefore, by the quote, um, uh, M is part of their common initial subsequence. Furthermore, they are layout compatible, T1 and T2 themselves are layout compatible because um, um, because they are standard layout, non-union class types, and their common initial sequence, which is M, is the set of all their members. So by this quote, they're also layout compatible. So, okay, um, first step, we create a union, okay, storage here, uh, and the, we, we make the active member be T1, right? Um, so I do that in uh, line five here with the, the, the constructor. So I create a union, the active member is um, T1. Second step, I get M through T2. And that's legal. Here's why, right? So even though T2 is not the active element in my union, I still can get M f as a T2, I mean through T2. And it's legal because of this. Um, it's legal because in a standard layout union with an active member in union class type T1, uh, you can actually read a uh, member um, through an, another member of the union, so long as they are, uh, so, so long as the member you're reading is part of the common initial sequence, right? So you can do that. And yeah, not a pretty place, huh? Um, so, um, all right, so I've got my M here, which is part of T2, right? So then I reinterpret cas.m uh, to the actual T2. So I'm basically taking M, which is the first member, and casting it to the, to the, to the, the, to the um, uh, the type that encloses it, you know, that contains it. And that's actually legal too, because um, if I have a pointer to an object of standard layout type, I can reinterpret cast it to its first, uh, you know, um, uh, member and vice versa. So that's not a problem. So now I've got a T2. I'm real close, right? Um, so then I take my T2 and I just static cast it to its base class, right? T, I can do that. So now I've got a pointer to my T and that's what I return. Um, so now this works. So I've, I've, I've created an object without actually calling any of its constructors. Um, and um, I hope your reaction is this. <laughs> so what we did is um, actually, um, uh, so I, I, I came up with this trick. I think it works. I, I, think in, I don't think that's UB. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway, in C++20, um, this paper, we made some changes. Uh, uh, stateless lambdas are going to be default constructible and also assignable. Um, good stuff. So now uh, this is going to work, just you know, just as it should, and that's it. Thank you, folks.